What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we did receive update 1.10 which of course includes a lot of stuff with season 1 and some changes to the game. I will link the patch notes down in the description below if you would like to read over them for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Of course today they did add some things to the game. Crash 24-7, a new mode called Reinforced. They added Ramaza and Gunrunner to TDM 20 and Dom 20 and added night maps to Hardcore TDM, Search and Destroy, and Cyber Attack. Of course, the 2v2 gunfight tournament has been removed, Shoot House 24-7 has been removed, and Gun Game has been removed also, but it is still available in private matches. When it comes to fixes, uh, the right shield got some tuning to where the shield protects against grenades when thrown at a player's feet. They reduced explosive damage within certain ranges. Fixed a bug where the final kill cam would appear under the map if you had been stuck with a Thermite or Simtex. Also fixed an issue where players stuck inside certain infantry vehicles would not take damage from Thermite grenades. Fixed a bug where attempting to scroll to the bottom of the recent player list would send you back to the top and say no recent players found. Also gunfight for private matches. The fix for the win by two setting to the end of the game properly once the conditions have been met. When it comes to missions and challenges, the, the ones in the list have been fixed and their descriptions have been updated. Close and personal, perks of the job, bloodthirsty killer, destroy ground kill streaks, get 50 kills with an enemy when an enemy UAV is active. Also combat knife challenges, the 357 camo challenges, various updates to other camo challenges, and fix for the officer rank completion notification not appearing on screen. Also today we got improvement of effectiveness of FMJ on kill streaks. A fix for the cluster strike dealing damage inconsistently when targeting a VTOL jet. When it comes to weapons, they did some changing in the menu to the stats, stat bar on various LMGs. The only gun that got tweaked today was the 357 Buckshot. They reduced the damage range, reduced the effective hip fire damage, and tuned the spread adjustments for barrel attachments. We got several spec ops fixes, uh, several spec op fixes. For Operation Brimstone, also the enemies in the white trucks not exiting their vehicles, uh, they will now exit those vehicles. Also, keyboard and mouse players, the leaderboard will no longer display complete gamer tags on the on the leaderboard. Also, fixed an issue where players will not be able to mantle while strafing with a keyboard and mouse. Also, increase the turn rate when aiming with a tank. Adjust the cam uh, the camera orbit turn rate while driving a vehicle using a keyboard and mouse and the vehicle camera recenter button is now linked to the melee by default on uh, on keyboard and mouse will either be linked to E or mouse 4. Also had some changes to Codcaster which I'm not really going to go into this is for stuff when you're watching uh, you know if you're watching a pro league tournament or something on Twitch or whatever you watch on whenever the pros are playing they use Codcaster to kind of commentate over those games they did some changes to that also, shaders on PC, they fixed an issue that forced shaders to be fully recompiled after each title update. Now, that was all the changes to the game. Now, of course, we did get a lot of stuff with Season 1. Now, Season 1 did launch today. The content that we're getting today as of December the 3rd will be the new map Crash, two new gunfight maps, and the new ground war map. Of course, both of the weapons that will be in the Battle Pass, they will be in the free section of the Battle Pass. Uh, the Holger 26 and the Ram 7. Also, two new special ops experiences and a new multiplayer mode reinforced. The rest of the content that is in the Battle Pass will be coming during Season 1. Now, Infinity Ward has said each week we will get new items, so each week we will get new things You know that were talked about within this Battle Pass. So it will be new maps, of course, new modes and things of that nature. I will link all of this, like I said, guys, down in the description below. Uh, and I know some people may be disappointed that we're not getting everything today with Season 1, but I kind of like that they're releasing stuff week by week because this is going to last from today, of course, until almost the end of January. It runs until January 28th. That is when Season 1 ends. So we, if we're, we're going to get new content week in and week out, it will keep the game fresh. And, of course, as stuff comes out, I will make videos letting you guys know what comes out each and every week. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this new season. Of course, all this new updates that we got today. Of course, the Battle Pass has been released today. The store has been released today. There are free parts of the Battle Pass and there are also parts of the Battle Pass that you can buy. If you want to unlock all 100 tiers, you can purchase the Battle Pass. It will be 10 bucks or 1,000 COD points. 
and you will be able to make back 1300 cod points from level one to 100 so you'll have enough currency to buy the battle pass next season or you can spend those in the store and just outright buy the battle pass again next season with ten dollars if you would like anyway guys leave me a comment let me know your thoughts on season one and the update today or update 1.10 and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click that bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.